Hi guys, my name is Sam and this is an intermediate grammar class. Um, today we're going to be looking at the past simple and past continuous. So come on in if you need some grammar practice, okay? Um, hey Nihan, nice to see you. Hi Samantha again, nice to see you too. <laughs> Good job in the last class, good writing. Yeah, it, it, it was very efficient because I have a problem with writing. Mm -hmm. It's normal. And yeah, thank you for the corrections. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Um, who else is here? Hey, Fergan. Hi. Sup? Good. <laughs> no, the, the, what's the correct answer to sup? Not good. You say nothing, you? <laughs> <laughs> or if I say sup, you say sup. <laughs> yeah. Like sup, sup. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> um, hi, Onur. Hi. hi nice Sam. to see you again. How are you? I'm doing fine. Cool. And hey, Alex. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Cool. So today um, we're talking about the simple past and past continuous. So there's lots of links and documents and other stuff attached. If you look at class, ma class materials, um, that's where the links and everything are for you. Lots of practice. We might not get to the PDFs today, but I put them there for you guys anyways, so you can have extra practice after class. Okay? Um, so to warm up, and to get you guys using the past tense, I would like you to tell me a funny, hopefully funny, story from your childhood. Um, I don't know if I can think of any other <laughs> funny stories because I've told so many. So we'll start with you guys. Uh, maybe we'll go backwards. So, Onur, okay. could you tell us a funny story from your childhood? Uh, can you give me... A uh, to think. Mm -hmm. For sure. Is anyone ready to tell us? You guys can take a minute to think of something, okay? Hmm. <laughs> It's a tough question. Okay, Nihan? No, no, it's tough. It's a tough question. Yeah, I was preparing some uh, coffee for uh, for me. I, I was in the <laughs> kitchen, but I heard you. <laughs> I remember, uh, but a short one. I have a brother. I, um, uh, we, how, uh, how can I say, um, uh, three, to four years older than me, my brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, when we were very little, uh, he tr um, he de deceived me uh, with a um, fake uh, money, uh, which uh, which uh, we uh, can we could have in the bumble gums, and uh, he t uh, he t uh, t um, he took me to the shopping mall mm -hmm. and gave me. Uh, these monies, and I go to sh uh, shopping uh, uh, center and uh, try to uh, buy something with the f with these fake monies. But I uh, I was very little, mm -hmm. and I don't know why they said and they lotted at me. So <laughs> was it he like? Did, um... he, yeah, he did it uh, uh, deliberately. Uh, this kind of things. Those brothers. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was like Monopoly money or something? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll. 
Bağlandık işte buradan birileri girdik ki oradan hangisi altta ding ding çalıyor işte. Honor, we hear your voice, okay. you're speaking in Turkish. And I don't think understand. he... <laughs> I, 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 mean, I don't think he realized. It's okay, Honor, don't worry. Um, Parati, can you tell us a story about your childhood? My? Mm -hmm. Can I did not get I uh, uh, unable to. I'll let you. I'll let you think, but think of something funny that happened to you when you were a kid. A funny story about a your. Funny childhood. story in my life. Lot of things. Okay, <laughs> I will choose one thing. Every day is a funny story in my life. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> surprise me. <laughs> yeah, because uh, one day I went. It is in uh, in India. Our Shirdi is there. It is the one uh, uh, spiritual place. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, in security guard, just uh, I covered with the bed sheet. I mean, it is a shawl. I mean, one bed sheet. Just I walk in the. Uh, just I enter into the temp. I enter into the temple. Okay, just uh, in the. That is, uh, I mean, winter time. I think exactly. Okay, security guard asked me, "Are you sick?" He asked me, "Are you sick?" Mm -hmm. Just I told him. No, I'm not Sikh. I'm a Hindu. Actually, Sikh it is the one of the religion. Uh, Hindu is the one is religion. Actually, he asked me, "Are you Sikh? You are uh, suffering from any problem?" Just I told him, "No, no, I'm a Hindu religion. I'm not Sikh religion." <laughs> this is after I recognized that one. Oh, I very, feel very shame. Very clever. <laughs> <laughs> very clever. <laughs> okay, good. Um, maybe one more. One more story. Did I, can yeah. anyone? Okay, Firkin. Do I have one, but I don't think it's funny. Uh, after I watched cartoon with my brothers, I thought that in real life those things will be will come true. Like, for example, when they hit something, their face becomes flat or something like that. So I told my brother to jump uh, to the chair. Maybe I can show you like that. The chair was like that. Then I told him to jump on it. He thought. It will be a normal thing, but suddenly I change it <coughs> to like 180 degrees. Then he completely his face crashed like this. Oh no! Then his nose started bleeding, and <laughs> he went to my mom to tell about that story. But I covered it with a another fake story, like saying, "No, he's lying. He hit the door and." My dad and uh, mom was fighting, so they didn't care about it. So they oh. slipped away. <laughs> okay, that's not very nice. Yes, yeah, Sam, can you share uh, your one funny thing to me? Sure, I'll tell you one. <laughs> um, actually, uh, Nihan made me think of something. I have two brothers. I have an older oh. brother and a younger brother. And um, my older brother used to always trick me. So we would be outside and we'd have ice cream and he used to always somehow trick me into giving him my ice cream cone. I don't know exactly what he did but he would eat his really quickly and when I couldn't see him and then say, oh I didn't get one, can I please Oh you cried. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then he'd eat mine. <laughs> and then I'd go in and ask for more, and my mom would be like, "No, you okay. already have one." <laughs> so, what was the age? Oh, I don't know. Um, last year? No, I'm just kidding. Last. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, like maybe four or five, I don't remember. Um, okay, right. Okay, all right. Let's take a look at some grammar. Okay, so. Okay, right. Um, we're looking at simple past and past continuous today. Okay. So first, we're just going to go over some of the basic rules for each of these tenses, and then we're going to practice choosing between them, when to use each one. Okay? So okay. first, we'll look at the simple past. Basically, the simple past is just your verb with ed at the end, right? You called Debbie. If you're asking a question, did you call Debbie? If you're putting it in the negative, you did not call Debbie. Okay, that's the basic simple past with regular verbs. Okay, you called, did you call, you did not call. Um, so there's some different reasons why we use the simple past and I'm actually going to get you guys to read these. Um, we'll start with Alex. Alex, could you read the first one for us? 
and maybe just uh, two examples. I saw a movie yesterday, and uh, I didn't see a, a play yesterday. Good. So here's where we are on our little timeline. And it says, we use the simple past to express the idea that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Okay, so we might not say the time, but we, um, we know that there is actually a specific time. So, for example, I saw a movie yesterday. That's the specific time, yesterday. It started and finished yesterday. Um, she washed her car. We assume that that only took her maybe an hour, so that's a specific time. He didn't wash his car. Again, a specific time. Okay, so a completed action in the past. And then use number two, uh, Firkin? We use a simple past to list a series of completed actions in the past. These actions happen first, second, third, fourth, and so on. Examples. I finished work, walked to the beach, and found a nice place to swim. He arrived from the airport at 8, 8, checked into the hotel at 9, and met the others at 10. Did you add flour, pour in the milk, and then add the eggs? Good. So in this case, we've got a series. So this is like if you're telling a story, and all of these things are finished actions, you would use the past simple. I finished work, walked to the beach, and found somewhere to swim. OK? So a series of completed actions. Um, the third use is duration in the past. Uh, Nihan, would you like to read? Sure. OK. The simple past can be used with a duration which starts and stops in the past. A duration is a longer action often indicated by expressions such as for two years, for five minutes, all day, all year, etc. Mm -hmm. Examples, I lived in Brazil for two years. Um, Shauna studied Jap Japanese for five years. Good. I'm just going to stop you there. So, um, good. So a duration. Something that starts and stops in the past, okay? Um, if you want to indicate the duration, that it's a, a longer action, you can use expressions. They sat at the beach, how, how long? All day. Okay? All day. We talked on the phone, how long? For 30 minutes. But it's still a completed action. We know that it's finished. Yeah. By the way, I don't know who acted make those examples, but there's always Japan and Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I always think, um, and Firk, and you're probably pretty well acquainted with this site now, because I use it a lot. So <laughs> it's it's literally <laughs> always, Japan always comes up. So I wonder if one of the writers is Japanese or something, maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah. Good. Um, so a duration, but again, it still starts and stops in the past, and it's finished, OK? Um, fourth one, habits in the past. So a habit that stopped in the past can mean the same as used to. I studied French when I was a child. He played the violin. He didn't play the piano. Is it a um, habit? A habit in the past. So by a habit, I mean something that is habitual that you did regularly. Uh, it doesn't have to be a bad habit like biting your nails, right? <laughs> something that you... you no, like, like, like brushing your teeth. You yeah, like exactly. Like so I brushed my teeth last year. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> <laughs> or I washed my hair when I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so something habitual. <laughs> Um, and then you can add expressions to go with it. Always, often, <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. And then the last one, past facts or generalizations. So same as in simple present, how we use facts in, with the simple present. Um, we use the simple past for facts that aren't true anymore. That used to be true, but now they're not. 
For example, she was shy, but now she's outgoing. He didn't like tomatoes before, but now he does. Right? So pa fact, uh, facts that are no longer true. Past facts. Um, yes. Is it tomato or tomato? <laughs> it's tomato in American English and tomato in British English. <laughs> what is the Canadian English? To in a uh, Canadian and American. I always I just okay. say American English, but we speak the same way. <laughs> okay. So in Canadian English, it's tomato. <laughs> in British English, okay. tomato. No, no, no. You have to say. I think mix it. Uh, Canada and then American and uh, British both. You'll mix. Then you can speak. That is the Canada. Yes. Exactly. Just mix it all together. You have to spell like a Brit and speak like an American, and then you're Canadian. Great. Okay, right. um, yeah, which English is good in Canadian English or British English? What's better? Scottish. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't think one is better than the other. Um, it just depends. It's both good English, just different accents. Um, okay. Firkin, there is such a thing as Canadian English because <laughs> I'm Canadian. And I speak English. <laughs> uh, okay, any questions about the simple past? It might be review. Um, the hard part comes when you're deciding which one to use, right? <coughs> Let's take a look at the past continuous. So Can this you is, share um, the document to me? Sorry. The, yeah, the doc yeah, for sure. It's right here. Do you see the link, Peretti? Okay. And here's the... Um, here's the simple past. So, Pretty, this is what you were asking about in the last class. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, so, to form the past continuous, we'll use was or were and the present participle. You were studying when she called. Were you studying when she called? You were not studying when she called. Um, just to review our subjects, I was you what? were, were, he, oh. she, was, was, we, were, they, were. Good. Okay? So we use was with I, and we use was with he or she. I was studying, you were studying, she was studying. Okay? So it's basically just your verb with ing at the end. Okay? Um, so we use it for a couple different reasons. Here's the first one. And it's very similar to the present continuous. It's pretty much the same deal, except we're talking about events in the past this time. So how about um, Olga? Would you like to read a little bit for us? Yeah. Okay, and you can just read two examples because we've got too many. <laughs> okay. Um, use the past continuous to indicate that a longer action in the past was interrupted. This interruption is usually a shorter action in the simple past. Remember, this can be a real interruption or just an interruption in time. Example, I was watching TV when she called. When the phone rang, she was writing a letter. Good. So, interruptions. I was watching TV. It was an ongoing action, right? You were sitting there, the TV was on, it was an ongoing thing, and then this person interrupted when she called. So you stopped watching TV to get the phone, right? Um, if we go down a little bit farther, Sammy <laughs> was waiting for us, was waiting for us, when we got off the plane. Once we arrived, once we got off the plane, Sammy stopped waiting, right? <laughs> Sammy just left here. Sammy just left, <laughs> and you walked home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, kind of defeated the purpose. <laughs> okay. Um, I was listening to my iPod, so I didn't hear the fire alarm. So when we're using sentences with an interruption, um, the, the first action, or um, the action that's ongoing, what happened first, is in the continuous tense, and then the interruption 
is in the in the simple tense, right? So I was watching when she called. Okay. Um, specific time as an interruption. Last night at 6 p.m. I was eating dinner. At midnight we were still driving. Yesterday I was sitting at my desk. So we can also use time as an interruption. It doesn't have to be a person like jumping into the room and interrupting you, right? <laughs> like calling you and literally interrupting you. Sometimes we just use time, right? At 6 p.m. I was eating dinner. Now I'm not. <laughs> okay? It's over. But at the time, it was an ongoing action. At midnight, we were still driving through the desert. What? <laughs> yeah. <Now> can I t <laughs> we're finished. Can I tell one example here? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, when, uh, okay, when Sham, uh, Sham teaching a class, Srikanth uh, is interrupting the class. This is, uh, okay, uh, can you tell this is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, information? Yeah, so when Sam was teaching the class, we couldn't interrupt. <laughs> Srikanth <laughs> always do. Srikanth, poor did, poor <laughs> What? No, 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 tell something, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. So if you wanted to use that example, you could say, um, at 4 o'clock, Sam was teaching a class, and we okay. couldn't interrupt. <laughs> but you can. You can interrupt me. It's OK. <laughs> you can interrupt and ask questions. Um, OK, so interruptions, right? Either someone actually interrupting, or we're just using time as an interruption. Um, Parallel actions, two things happening at the same time. That's parallel. That's what it means. Okay, two things like this. I was studying while he was making dinner. While Ellen was reading, Tim was watching television. So two ongoing actions that were happening at the same time. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to skip atmosphere. I think we'll just leave it there for now. Does anyone have any questions about those two? Or are you confused about when we would use each one? How to choose between them? Is it clear? Mm -hmm. It's OK. Uh, is it the class that we use monkey? <laughs> I wasn't actually going to use the monkey. Do you want to use the monkey? I don't know. I, I, I think I remember this class. We're not using the monkey this time. No. Um, but I have been using the. Oh, Firkin, do you want to? Do you want to use the monkey? You look like you're gonna cry. <laughs> I want monkey. Oh. Um. Yeah, we used the monkey for the last cup. I've been using it for all my grammar classes lately. So <laughs> he's he's made many appearances. <laughs> so educational. Yes. Good monkey. He taught me how to eat a banana. Passive voice monkeys. I remember now. <laughs> the passive voice? Yes. The passive monkey? The passive aggressive monkey? <laughs> when you would uh, explain that passive voice, I think you use the monkeys. Mm -hmm, probably. <laughs> okay, let's try some, some practice, okay? Um, we need to choose between the two. So we need to decide whether we want the simple past or the past progressive. Here, I'll, you can have this link as well if you want it. Okay. So when I was doing the washing up, I broke a plate. Sounds like something Firkin would do. Mm -hmm. um, number two. <laughs> well, Tom. Was wow. playing. Was playing. Was playing the piano. His mother did the washing up. Good. Mother did the washing up. Good. Let's try number three. I'm sorry. Okay. Drink and ate a few chips. Simple. Past simple both. Good. I think. He, he drank, drank some, some juice. juice. And ate a few chips. Good. Now, what if it looked like this? One second. Do you see it in the chat? 
yeah. he was uh, drinking some juice and eating some chips. Yeah, exactly. So there's one little word that changed this. <laughs> then right that shows us that it's one after the other and when it's a sequence it's simple past if we didn't have then here then it would be in continuous right um, let's try number four I was having when I heard, heard a loud bang Good. I was having dinner when I suddenly heard a loud bang. Good. Number five. When my father when was my working. Father... Yes. <laughs> okay. Can you show? Yes, yeah, Sam. Can you share that uh, that link to me? I, I'm also trying to. Yeah, Peretti, I did. Do you do you see it in the chat? Yes. Yeah, that's the link there in the chat. Oh, it's short. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Um, okay. Good. Past. When my father was working, an old friend past. passed, past. passed yeah. by to see him. Um, we could easily make a big mistake here. <laughs> it said passed away. Passed away. <laughs> died. No. <laughs> <laughs> and when well, he uh, lose his consciousness, passed. Uh, passed out. Oh. Out, passed, passed out. out. <laughs> passed away, I knew, but I forgot the uh, passed out. Yeah, yeah if you pass out, you uh, lose, you faint, right? Yes. Lose consciousness. Mm -hmm. What about number six? He... he went to the school, took yes, out the textbook, began to learn. Them. It when was a good day. And began. Sunny. Good. Um, what about number seven? How about um, Alex? Could you try number seven for us? Hmm. When it uh, when it uh, started to rain, our dog wanted to come inside. Very good. Perfect. And how about um, Peretti? Could you try number eight? Yeah, can you show that one? Actually, I'm able to show this. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I uh, when John Jane did the language course. When uh, when Jane did not did doing a language John doing a language course in Ireland, she visited Blarney Castle. Blarney Castle. It is right. We're missing a word here first. It should be was doing. When was doing, okay. Okay. When Jane was doing a language course in Ireland, she visited Blarney Castle. Does everyone I agree? Question. When you're doing a course, are you the course manager or you're taking the course? If you're doing a course, you're taking the course. Oh. If you're giving, offering, or... Um, yeah, giving or offering a course, you're you're the one teaching. Mm -hmm. So doing take. Okay, was doing a language course in Ireland. She visited Blarney Castle. What about number nine, um, Olga? Um, when I walk. On my way home, I saw an accident. Very good. When I was on my way home, I saw an accident. Good. Um, Hazel, can you try number 10? Yes. I didn't understand what they were talking about. Perfect. I didn't understand what they were talking about. Good. I have um, a question. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yes? Sorry. 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 No, it's okay. I just deleted all of her <laughs> Well done. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, what was your question? In the second one, it's possible uh, while Tom was playing the piano, his mother. I know, sorry. Yeah, was I, 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 I felt that maybe it was possible in the uh, past continue. His mother oh, was doing right. the washing up. You're right. I think we had did here, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It should all be in the past continuous because. Yeah. 
it's two actions that happening at the same time. Good catch. Yeah. They should both be in the past continuous. Well, she's he was clever. Playing. She's yeah, very he, clever. Mm -hmm. Good, good. His mother Keep was it. doing. Was that yeah. Olga or I didn't Olga. Yeah. Good catch, Olga. <laughs> yeah, come on, claps, claps, claps to her, claps. <laughs> okay. How did good. you manage to delete all of them? There's not I, such an option. I just failed. I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh well, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, okay, we've got another exercise here. Basically, the same same thing, just some new questions. Okay. Um, I'll give you guys the link here. Okay. Um, the link's in the chat if you want it. So let's try number one all together. When I got up. Got up. Sun was shining. Like a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rihanna. Um, <laughs> good. Uh, number two. It was a beautiful morning. Good. Was a beautiful morning. Very good. What about number three? Well, I decided. Decided. Good. I decided to cycle around. What about number four? I went, went and I took. Went. I went to the shed and took out my bike. Number five? While cycling? I was cycling. I was cycling. Mm -hmm. Awesome villages. I saw. I was perfect. Huh? Mhm. Mm well, I uh, okay. So I saw some people in their gardens. You might ask, why is it saw and not was seeing? It's not a doctor. Yeah. What's the what's the state rule verb. here? See is is a state verb. One mm -hmm. think, and uh, it's an interruption. I was cycling, and um, because I passed uh, through them, uh, by them. <laughs> good, good. So there's kind of two reasons here, and you you said both of them. So the sec the first reason is that this is an interruption. I was cycling, and then I saw some people. Um, but also, we don't generally put C into the past continuous. Um, in, this, in this tense, I was seeing some people. Um, if you say, I was seeing some people, it's like what Firkin said. You sound like you're a doctor. I, I was seeing my patients. <laughs> okay? Um, you would just say, I saw some people, and it's finished. You saw them, and, and that's it. Or they think someone. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, yep. um, okay, let's try number six. Was mowing. Was mowing. was mowing the grass. Why picking. Was picking. Good. Was picking. Good. Um, and now I'll go one at a time. How about uh, Nihan? Can you try number seven? Sure. After one hour of cycling in sunshine, a big fat <laughs> rain cloud suddenly appeared, and it started to rain. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Next one, Firkin. Number eight. Luckily, a farmer noticed me and told me to come in. Good. I was elated. And <laughs> Hazel. Uh, while it was raining outside, I was sitting in the farmer's house. <laughs> it reminds me of your <laughs> barn memory. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Does this remind you of something? <laughs> oh, so don't funny. forget anything. No. <laughs> you both. Actually. Sorry, Hazel. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um, Alex, what about number 10, Alex? That's why you after, gave me the sentence. Well, the sun came out again. Perfect. Good. And uh, Peretti, could you try number 11? I was thanking the farmer for his hospitality and moved on. 
I was thanking the farmer for his hospitality and moved on. Do you guys agree? No. Yeah. No. no. Okay. What's the What's the problem, Alex? I thought the farmer for for his hospitality. Yeah, I thank. I thanked. Mm hmm. Two completed actions, Peretti. I thanked okay. him, so I said thank you, and it was over, and moved on. So two completed okay. actions. Um, and they're happening one after another. It's a sequence, right? I thanked okay. him, and then I moved on. So with okay. a sequence, we'll use the simple past. Okay? Okay. Okay. Any questions about these ones? Olga, um, do you see any mistakes? <laughs> 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 no. no? Yeah, Miss okay. Perfect. Are we good? <laughs> yes, uh, Miss Perfect. Uh, Miss Perfect. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Miss. Uh, Miss. Miss Helpful. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, I th I don't know if this is the game that we played before. Yeah, this was the game. Okay. This is Group E, right? Group, group E. e. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Group E. Yeah, Okay. Maybe should we find a different game? Yeah, different game. Okay, guys. Bye. Tomorrow we will meet. Okay. Yeah. Okay, maybe. because Sounds it is at two, two, three p.m. right now here. Yep. Oh, three a.m. Awesome. Not, not three a.m. It is three a.m. Okay. <laughs> I'll be sleeping at three a.m. <laughs> I think uh, because uh, I'm waiting for you last only. Cool. 3, okay. 3 p.m. See you there. <laughs> no, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. It's, no, it's near 3 a.m. 3 a.m. your time? Yeah. Wow. So Aren't I have to go to sleep and tomorrow I have tired? the office. <laughs> no, I never get tired. Wow. I'm always still. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. I will meet Good. Bye. Okay, Bye. I will meet. Bye. I just uh, write, uh, I mean, uh, come and add me in your friend, friend list. Mm -hmm. Send a request. Okay, my ID is a Sri Kantre Sri Raj Puri. Okay. Okay. Cool. We'll meet in Facebook. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye, Miss Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to find another Jeopardy game, but. I keep finding the same one. So we could just do some more exercises. But I thought I think games are more fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh here's another one. Let's see. When you say let's see, I I'm waiting for you to open screen share. Just to oh. see your face. <laughs> We could play Sentence Monkey. What is that? What is Sentence Monkey? He's your best friend. <laughs> Why? It's not really a game. It's like coding one in brackets. Okay, I'll, I'll look for another minute. If not. Oh, I think I found one. Yeah. But it's basketball. Oh, no. What? Oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay. Where are you living, Furkan? Uh-huh. Which city? Istanbul. It looks like hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a rookie, right? No, you're experienced, and your kit color is you. No. Red. Red. Okay. No, yeah, red. Okay, and my shoes. Black. Okay. Well, that's boring. Okay. Um. <laughs> hey, I can't make it a girl. <laughs> no. Okay. Here we go. Number one. Just yell oh. out the answer. Ah. Uh. 
I don't know. Oh, oh. Ah, okay. Girl, studying. So are you studying French? Good. Where are you stu- oh no. Oh my. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. Good. oh no. Good. Good. What kind of game you suck. do you mean? I it's think we will understand as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two. I blank watching TV when she called. I was. I was I watching. Was watching. Okay. Oh, the guy. It's the kind of game where you guys can make fun of me. Yeah, actually we are too good for you. You miss oh. again. And you are just pulling us down. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, number three. Writing? She was writing a letter. Writing. Good. Okay. <laughs> you score. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, number four. Having the picnic or having the picnic? Having the picnic. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. What a shame. Aww. Okay. <laughs> Number five. Doing. What are doing. you doing? Good. Okay, another miss. No. Oh. Are okay. we planning to score or something? Uh, <laughs> I was hoping, but... Okay, what about uh, number six? Listening. Listening. I have a question. Is Brilliant. it correct to say I was listening to my iPod because it sounds like your iPod is talking? <laughs> well, your iPod's playing music, so it's <laughs> no, kind it's of like doing. <laughs> there's a sound writing. assistant, at, the voice assistant, and it's talking to you, like mm. having a conversation with your phone. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what about number seven? Writing. Nice. Yeah, keep this part, the guy who you played basketball. <laughs> okay, number eight? Doing. Doing. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it broke his leg. Okay. <laughs> Number nine. Working. Wasn't working. <laughs> okay, and one more, and then we'll do something else. <laughs> more painful. She was always... Um, came. Came. She came. was always came? I mean, coming. coming to class coming. late. Ah, uh, was A. coming, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't miss. Okay. Well, oh, not very you. good. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do something else. So I'm just going to open up a document here, and I want to write a story with you guys. I'm a little afraid of what will happen. About, about what? About. Sleeping with animals in a bar. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why not? I didn't sleep with the animals. I slept <laughs> above them in the attic of the barn <laughs> with, on the hay. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't make it less weird. Okay. <laughs> it's common in my country. <laughs> <laughs> What oh, stop at the countryside. Let's stop making fun of Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> Cut her some slack. Okay, so we're going to write, uh, we're going to do a story chain with past simple and past continuous. Okay, so what we have to do is try to use as many verbs as we can in these two tenses. When you're writing something, um, you can really use both of them. You can use the past simple to talk about consecutive events, and you can use the continuous to describe the surroundings, what did it look like, what was happening, okay? So we're going to take turns. 
um, and we'll see what our story turns into. Um, because you're so creative, Firkin, you can start our story for us, okay? Okay. How it starts many like this. Once upon. How many sentences do you want? Just, uh, just two sentences each. Ah, okay. The old lady was walking on a catwalk. Then she sprained her ankle. Okay. Um, Nihan? Oh, my imagination is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, then she sprayed her ankles. Uh, suddenly, some um, a car crashed um, to her. <laughs> oh, into her. Oh my <laughs> god, lady, poor lady. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, du during this time, somebody um, was watching uh, the accident uh, in front of uh, his window. I don't know. <laughs> um. Um, I would just say and some you can get rid of during this time. Uh, okay. Suddenly a car crashed into her and somebody was watching the accident from his window. Or because it's somebody, I would just say from there. We don't okay. know if it's a guy or a girl. Okay, okay. was watching. Good. Um Olga. You can add one or two sentences using the past simple and past continuous. Um, uh, when the ambulance was coming, uh, there was an earthquake. <laughs> wow. Too many bad luck. Okay, while the ambulance was coming, there was an earthquake. <laughs> what is Alex? This? What is an earthquake? An earthquake. An earthquake is um, easier to show you. <laughs> when. <laughs> <laughs> how do I explain it? When the tectonic. Like, part of. <laughs> can you can you copy this word into the chat? Sure. Um, I, I'm trying to explain it, but the tectonic plates on the Earth they rub against each other usually, and it makes the Earth shake like this in a place, and it usually causes a lot of damage. Perkins was good. It's like this. Uh. <laughs> Okay, um, so there was an earthquake. Uh, so Alex, then what happened? <laughs> After that, old lady uh, stand it up. Good. <laughs> stood up <laughs> and <laughs> running away. <laughs> <laughs> with, with her a sprained ankle, how, how come? <laughs> She's very athletic. <laughs> and She's a model. An ambulance fo following to, to her. Good. The ambulance um, followed her? Yeah. <laughs> Stalker. Her. Okay, Hazel, then what happened? Um, the doctor and nurses from the from the ambulance um, catched the um, <laughs> the old lady uh, caught caught Good. the old lady caught the old lady and um, took her into the ambulance uh, at, at the hospital <laughs> when they arrive at the hospital when they arrive at the hospital, they noticed that the old lady was perfectly okay. 
Okay, Birkin? Okay. Someone injected morphine into <laughs> her blood. Why? <laughs> As she opened her eyes, she realized that it was a barn. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> 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 Barn, barn, oh. barn. A bar, a bar. <laughs> okay. <Big> monkeys. <laughs> okay. Nihan, then what happened? Oh my gosh. She opened her eyes, she realized that the hospital was actually a barn full of monkeys. Oh, Furkan. <clears throat> <laughs> The monkeys was yelling. <laughs> were no, yelling. Yeah, were yelling, and spreading uh, onto her. How can I say it? S some bana bananas. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Throwing, 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 <laughs> throwing her. Dog lady. Okay. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Olga? I really have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the old lady was very hungry and uh, started <laughs> eating <laughs> the bananas. <laughs> <laughs> there she, she's a gorilla. Good. Alex? Mm, the old lady. Maybe we should name her. <laughs> Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks God, because this is not my real name. <laughs> Hazel asked to, to the doctor about this injection. The monkey doctor? <laughs> <laughs> he, she was uh, she was like this state. She, she was like. Like? Yeah. Or she liked. She liked this state. Ah. Uh, After injection. Ah, uh, okay. She liked the. I would say the feeling. Yeah. She. Yeah, feeling. Um, what sentence to finish our story? Who wants to finish it? I can finish it. Okay, Firkin? Monkeys carried her on their shoulders to the catwalk, Oops, and spoken. she finished walking <coughs> on the catwalk, and everyone applauded her. <laughs> I'll put it in a rolling chat. Please. There it is. <laughs> He's famous now. You should post it. Monkeys. <laughs> it was Morgan? You should post it on Google Plus. Oh, okay. <laughs> Luckily, it's not it's not Hazel. 
name, so it's okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, guys, I just um, posted some links for you <laughs> for my student forums, my Facebook, Twitter, and everything else. So come hang out with me, and um, I'm teaching the next class about <laughs> video game violence. Uh, it's an advanced <laughs> speaking class. We're going to talk about violence in video games. Um, I like this topic, so we're doing it again. So if you want to come and have a conversation uh, at natural speed, because it's advanced, then come hang out with us, okay? In two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. okay. Thank you for the class. Thank you. Thanks, Thank guys. You. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.